one day on Sodor, this very day, Thomas entered up Nedford Station where he had saw some of his friends. Hello, Thomas. How are you doing today? Edward asked him. I feel great knowing that this mutation thing's gone. Don't remind me, Thomas. I'm still getting that Oliver thing out of my head. Oh, yeah. Anyway, I don't even think we should be talking about this, guys. It happened. It's gone. We don't have to worry about that anymore. Henry is right. It happened. Now it's gone. We don't have to worry about it anymore. Just then, Sir Topham Hatt came up. He had a very important news for the Edmonds. Thomas, I want you to deliver some coal cars to the quarry, and Percy will take your ma and Percy can take Annie and Clarabel for you. All right. Okay, sir. I can't wait to see the, the little engines in the hills again. And Percy was off with Annie and Clarabel. Nice to see you two again. <laughs> Well, we're not in a high-speed chase, so we can just talk normally. So what are you guys, like, what have you been doing? Well, Percy, I don't really know what to say other than we've just been in our sightings. Just doing our normal thing, just waiting for engines to pull us. And at least we're not being in a high-speed chase again. It's really scary. Yep, we don't have to worry about that anymore. But Percy wasn't looking at the tracks. And so, since Percy wasn't looking at the tracks, he crashed into a pair of buffers. Whoa! Uh, and crashed. Percy was derailed and had no choice but to wait for someone to come and help him. Eventually, someone came and delivered Rocky to bring Percy back up on the tracks. When Percy was back up on the tracks, he started to puff away. But Annie and Clarabelle were still on the tracks. Mm. <sighs> it's really nice to be back on Sodor. Meanwhile, it was almost time to pull the flying kipper, so Henry was just heading to the sheds. But when he got into the sheds, it was all happening at once. Whoa! Wait, what's up? What's up? A signalman noticed this, and then he quickly pressed an emergency button to warn every engine what's happening. Every engine heard the siren. Whoa, whoa what's happening? Thomas, Thomas quickly yelled. Henry looks like a monster. Thomas heard this. Oh no, I gotta get out of here as fast as I can. I don't want to get mutated again. Wait, Thomas, wait for me. Oh no, something terrible is happening. I gotta make sure everyone is safe. And so she puffed on. So she puffed on. Annie and Clarabel were so scared. They were off the tracks and couldn't move. Just then the purple tank engine noticed this. Uh, hey, what's wrong? We gotta get moving. We can't. We're on. We're, we're, we came off the rails. We can't go anywhere. Lady knew just what to do. She quickly got them back on the tracks and quickly set off. And in no time at all, they were rushing away to safety. Rosie and Mavis were working at the quarry. Then the big boom happened. Rosie stopped moving. She didn't feel very well. I don't feel so well, Mavis. What's wrong? What's wrong? Mavis quickly yelled. Just then... Rosie's paint started to turn red, and it got darker and darker. Uh, I'm gonna blow! Uh. And Rosie exploded from the blast. Mavis felt sorry for her friend, but Mavis had no choice but to puff away, or stroll away, so, so Mavis wouldn't get killed too. Meanwhile, Thomas and Edward were racing faster and faster. They tried to, they wanted to escape this. I really don't want to get infected again. It was really awful being a horrible monster. I know, Thomas. I hear ya. I felt bad just seeing you as a monster. Meanwhile, Percy was racing down the line and bumped into Thomas. Thomas, oh my god, thank goodness. You're okay. Uh, we gotta get out of here fast. I know, Percy. I know. If we stick together, we should be safe. Edward, Percy, we have to get going and make it to the mainland so we will all be safe. Right, the three engines said that I kept going. 
I'm not getting this infection thing. If it's the last thing I do, I'm going to try to stay safe. Little did the Red Engine know that he was just in the race of his life. James noticed Henry, but that but he didn't let that bother him. He kept racing down the line as fast as the wheels could carry him. And Henry was just catching up to the, to the Red Engine. But then, the good news happened for James. Gordon rushed by him. Gordon, we gotta go back! Henry the monster, you're headed right towards him! Oh, I don't want any excuses, James. You're just showing off. But soon, Gordon found it out. Whoa! And Henry started to rip off Gordon's eyes. It was a terrible sight for the blue engine. Huh, some engines never listen these days. Meanwhile, Lady was just pulling Annie and Clarabelle when she noticed two cars who needed some help. Quickly, someone please help us! Please, it will really mean a lot. Don't worry, I'll save you and get everyone out of here. I'm trying to, I'm going to make sure everyone is safe. Thank you, he said. Oh my God, yes, thank you. No one would normally help me. And so Annie, Clarabelle, Scruffy, and Hector the Horridge all raced off to hopefully get to safety. Thomas, are you sure we'll be safe? Don't worry, Percy. I'll try to make sure that me, you, and Edward are all safe. Isn't that right, Edward? Of course it is, Thomas. And I will make sure that you two are safe. I survived this once, but you two didn't. So I'm going to make sure we all get through this together. See, Percy? We will all be safe and just fine. Um, okay, Thomas. But Percy still had his doubts. Luckily, the three engines was able to find something to hide in and keep shelter from all the mutants or monsters. I think this should be a good spot to keep us safe for a bit. It's still a little bit rusty, but it'll have to do to keep us safe for now. Percy was still unsure, but if Thomas and Edward were fine with this, he was too. And so the three engines stayed there and to hide, to hide from all the mutant monsters.